going to be making French toast tater tots with a side of fruit. So we're going to start with the French toast. Make sure you put soap on medium heat. And, and you have your bowl, which you're going to put your egg in. And you have some cinnamon. <laughs> and you have some bread. And you have an egg. You also need a fork to mix the egg around so it doesn't get all gross. So, can you see that? Here, I'm going to come closer. <laughs> First, to make the egg, you go like. <laughs> there you go, mix it around. Ah, who needs forks? You take the cinnamon, just pour that stuff in there. Should be good. Oh, I forgot. You also need a spatula to get your bread off the pan. And you also need a pan. Okay, when that's all nicely mixed, you take a piece of bread. You know, eggshells kind of hurt, so be careful. Okay, and after you have that, you neatly put it on the pan. Just like that. There you go. Now you just wait for it. Um, I don't know, just until it gets all nice and brown. So after you're done, your hands are going to be a little messy. So it's best if you wash your hands. Use towels. we're going to make tater tots. Make sure you preheat pre the oven to 425 degrees. Next up, you need a small pan and you just throw those tater tots on there. Evenly space them out, like so. And then you put them in the oven. for 19 minutes. And then you wait. Okay, Next up, what we're going to make is fruit. We have an apple and an orange. First, we're going to cut the orange. Make sure you get nice and even. Make sure you don't cut your finger off because that would be bad. If it falls on the floor, no big deal. Nobody will know. There we go. Make sure you get an even amount of slices. Okay. Next is the apple. Everybody likes small pieces. Oh, like there goes the fruit. That's okay. Nobody will know. There you go. Fun bite-sized pieces for everybody. Okay, after you have cooked your French toast and cut up your fruit, you have to put them on the plate. Okay, make sure it's all pretty. Okay, and then you put the fruit on there. <laughs> now you really want that flavor everywhere. Now all we have to do is wait for the tater tots and then we can add our finishing touches. After your French toast is done, Take your oven mitt and pull it out of the oven. Make sure you close the oven. 
Don't want to be started no fires. After you. Now, to put the tater tots on the plate, make sure you grab what you have. Careful, it's very hot. And just, there you go, adding to the plate. Doesn't that look delicious? Now for the finishing touches. You have some syrup and some powdered sugar. Take the syrup. All right, that should be good. You never know how much syrup people like, but that should be good. And then you just kind of spoon. Now, to serve your food, you must do it politely and with poise. First, you take your napkin and the fork. Then, you take your juice. And then last but not least, the food. Have a nice meal. After time and patience, your meal should look like this. And then it is ready to serve. Here's your meal, ma'am. Would you like some syrup and powdered sugar? Yes, please. A little bit of syrup. And some powdered sugar. Enjoy your meal. Don't tell me what to do! going to be making French toast, tater tots, and fruit. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're going to start with the tater tots. I mean with the French <laughs> 